मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज डॉक्टर मनप्रीत कौर द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज प्रेजेंटेशन इज डिमेंशन ऑफ एच आर डी अंडर दिस प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रोड मैप ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन अंडर इट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन देन परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल इट्स करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड द प्रोसेस एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज वी कंसिडर अबाउट द कैरियर प्लानिंग एंड द डिवेलपमेंट एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड प्रोसेस इट इज द टू डिमेंशन विच आर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डिमेंशन अंडर द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डिवेलपमेंट फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन under the introduction uh, the hrd will quickly realize that one of the most important requirement for a speedy assimilation to learn the language basically hrd human resource development is related to the training process and evaluate the uh, performance of the employees to increase their efficiency so it is a proceed uh, substantive actions and thinking about the HRD, hrd is a uh, sensitive actions under the organization and to survive in this highly competitive scenario managers are being pressurized to improve the quality increase the productivity and cut out cut down the wastes and eliminate the inefficiency in the organization so that it improve the uh, quality under the organization with the help of the manpower uh, planning so that they can achieve their desired results and they uh, highly in the under the highly competitive areas they achieve their desired desired results and increase their efficiency and eliminate the wastes under the organization with the help of the efficient workers under the organization for this efficiency for the improvement of the efficiency they go for the training and development process under and they are related to the curriculum planning of the employees and the performance appraisal to time to time so that can increase the efficiency effectiveness among the workers under the organization next is the performance uh, appraisal basically performance uh, appraisal is uh, related to evaluate the performance of the employees and it is uh, related to the qualification of the employees in term of the requirement of the job which he is employed and for the purpose of the administrations and it is also include the placement selections uh, and promotions uh, providing the financial rewards uh, and uh, other actions these are uh, considered under to improve the uh, efficiency among the workers with the help of the performance appraisals and uh, it is required the differential treatments among the members of the group as distinctive uh, form actions affecting all the members equally if they perform in the team work then they appreciate the whole teams and they equally divided the work among the uh, members according to their qualification patients and their efficiency next is the characteristics of the uh, performance appraisal first is related to it's a simple and understandable by the employees and the performance appraisal concept is easily understandable by each and every employees under the organization and any complication need to be avoidance under it and second is it is should be suitable to be adopted for the appraisal at the regular inter intervals because periodic appraisal enable the employees to improve so in this case uh, it decide the regular intervals to appraise the uh, workers for their uh, regarding the their working efficiency so it is a best and suitable methods adopted by the organization to appraise the employees and timely timely and next is it should create the atmosphere of the mutual understanding and the confidence it is uh, helpful for the employees and employee to create a uh, good relation between them and it is a understanding and confidence improve the understanding and confidence among uh, between the uh, employees and the employees under the organization next here is the objectives of the performance appraisal first objectives is to identify employees weakness and strength the performance appraisal there are so much techniques and methods used which are helpful to find the weaknesses and the strength among the uh, employees with the help of this what analysis uh, by uh, by the employees and their uh, peer reviews uh, by their peers and uh, subordinates and supervisors there are so many methods like the ranking methods the 360 degree methods uh, 
which are helpful to find the strength and the weakness among the workers and second to identify the training needs and aspirations with the help of their techniques of the performance appraisal the every uh, members uh, provided there uh, and the uh, managers uh, easily identified the training needs among the employees if there is any training need then they go for or arrange the training um, process among those uh, employees who ever need this type of the training under the organization they provide the on job training and the off job training Uh, to generate the significant relevant and the valid information about the employees with the help of the performance appraisal they provide the relevant and the valid uh, information to the employees uh, which are uh, easily uh, implemented in the organization and they also provide the information related to the strength and their weaknesses so they can easily improve their weaknesses under the organization and their efficiency is increase toward their works or the jobs and next under it to provide the input to the increment of the rewards uh, transfers uh, promotions and the salary administrations under this case it provide the increments related to the rewards like financial rewards and transfer facilities and promotions if it is one is not suitable on the one job and then they transfer to the another jobs so it is also considered as in the financial rewards and the sometimes of the incrementals and the rewards under the organizations and next one is the process of the performance appraisal it is the most important topic under the performance appraisal is related to the process first point under the process is establish the performance standards the first step is basically related to the uh, set the uh, targets and the uh, establish the uh, standards related to the performance of the employees and the performance standards for each and every job should be developed and discussed with the superior after thorough analysis of the job under this uh, concept the uh, each and every job should have their own standards fix their own standards which are uh, discussed with their supervisors uh, we, uh, what type of the standards fixed under this uh, uh, the an analysis of the job and second one is these standards should be clear and not vague these standards are should be clear and in the understandable form so can it it is it is easily understandable by the employees and they must be measurable after certain period and there should be fixed a uh, time period so they can easily measurable after a uh, consider time period or certain time period and next uh, uh, step under the process of the performance appraisal is communicate the standards under it after setting the performance standards of the job the next activity is communicate under this the uh, the appraisals and the appraisee both are knowing each others standards and they considered uh, on the consider and they work on this type of the standards so it is the responsibility of any supervisor to communicate all the standards which are fixed for the analysis of the job to be communicate among the workers and it is necessary these standards must be modified and the appraiser must ensure that the information commuted by him has been received by appraisee and understood clearly it is the responsibility of the appraiser so that they can provide the information related to the standards and communicate the information same as it is which is considered by the employees and their appraisers and in a understandable form next uh, step under the performance appraisal is measure the actual performance first one is related to set the standards establish the performance standards second one is to communicate these standards among the appraisers and third one is measure the actual performance under this step the appraisal uh, appraise the evaluate the actual performance of the employees under this step and the uh, generally four common sources are used by appraiser to measure the actual performance one is the personal observation under this uh, concept the appraiser personally observe the behavior of the working conditions or the working schedules of the employees and second one is the statistical reports and they consider the statistical reports which provide the actual data related to their actual performance and the next one is the oral reports it discuss with their supervisors or the employees regarding their working conditions and their efficiency and the day to day their uh, uh, 
problems uh, and also the written uh, reports they also uh, get the information um, with the uh, help of the written reports which are uh, written by the uh, supervisors uh, these reports are related to the working scenario of the employees and each and every uh, workers time or their uh, working efficiency or their uh, production related uh, units or the works uh, measured under this uh, reports and all the records uh, they collect related to the actual per, uh, performance with the help of these uh, points and next uh, step under the performance appraisal is compare the actual performance with the standards the next uh, concept is that when the uh, appraisals appraise find the actual performance then they compare this actual performance with the uh, established targets related to the uh, performance and sometimes the actual performance may be better than the standards and sometimes it may go off the track so there are uh, two conditions sometimes it is better than the standards sometimes it's uh, go off the track so in these conditions uh, if there is any deviations between the actual performance standards it may be noted carefully for the next activities under this uh, step they only uh, consider and make a comparison between the actual and the standard performance under the uh, next step it is a feedback to the employees under this activity the result of the stage 4 are discussed with the employees if there is variations between the actual performance and uh, standard uh, performance so these variations are uh, discussed with the employees under the fifth point and the information which is received by appraise about his assessment has be great impact on the uh, on his performance under the under this concept the appraisal uh, provide the information regarding the performance evaluation of the performance uh, uh, of the employees to discuss with them so that can easily assessable and they improve their efficiency according to these uh, discussions of these variations and communicate the poor performance is difficult task for the appraisal because it is a, a deep moralize the every person if there is performance is not up to the point so the, it is a tough uh, tough point or the difficult task uh, in the hand of the appraisal to communicate this type of the performance among the appraisers and next is taking the decision uh, corrective actions if necessary it is the final step under the performance appraisal that in this stage two uh, type of the corrective actions may be recommended by the appraiser one is the positive means salary increase or promotions if the actual performance of appraisal is up to mark those have a good performance under the evaluation they uh, on the uh, get a positive remarks and they get the salary increase or the promo, uh, per actual uh, promotions under this uh, after so they can they motivate to increase their efficiency uh, uh, or that point and the second is the negative means it is a coaching and the counseling may be done if their performance is poor in this case if their employee has a low efficiency and the poor performance in the appraisal then they go for the uh, trainings uh, sometime of the uh, coachings and the counseling so that it can improve their efficiency according to the desired uh, goals so if the necessary appraisal may be deputed for the formal training courses there is also formal training courses under the organization and the person deputed to that type of the training courses if their performance is low in this category and next uh, point under it is the career planning and the development it is a process by which one select career goals that gives the actual road map to the goal and the personal actions to achieve the career plans it is basically related to the planning and the development of the career related to the employees and the provide the actual road map to consider and set the goals regarding to achieve the career plans and the main focus of this is to assist the employee to have a better match between their personal goals and the opportunities available in the organization basically considered or main focus on the employees efficiency and so they can uh, assist the employees so they can easily achieve their personal goals and also match their betterments with the uh, organization opportunities which is provided related to improve their career planning or their career goals in the organization next is the importance of the career planning 
and first is it need to identify and forecast the human resource needs under the organization or related to the career development it is first concept is considered to the identified and forecast the uh, human resource needs how much human power is needed under the organization and next is the social and demographic trends what type of the social and demographic trends considered regarding the jobs which are uh, uh, selected by the organization next is changing nature of the work it is related to the working scenario and the working conditions which are changes according to the requirement of the jobs and changing type of the jobs it is related to shifting jobs and job enrichment so these are considered under the changing type of the jobs then the multi multicultural job forces and the work productivity and last one is related to the technology changes and decrease the advancement opportunities these are the main important which are considered related to the career planning and the development next is the uh, process of the career planning and the development under the process first we identify the career needs under the career needs it process help the employees to make a decision regarding the career goals and the steps to be taken to put the efforts to attain these goals under this concept first decision related to uh, or taken by the employees regarding their career needs what type of their career goals and how they can uh, achieve these type of the goals and what type of the efforts they attain to these type of the goals and the hr manager also play an important role for providing the uh, beneficial information relevant information and assistance in making the decision about the career needs of the employees next uh, point is uh, related to developing the career opportunities under this the employee should be provided the information regarding the job postings that are available in the organization and for the future reference what requirements and they will have to find to achieve the promotions which they have inspired under this every employee get the information related to the uh, future opening jobs and the job posting under uh, the different departments of the organizations at the higher levels so the achievement of the promotions are also considered under this point and next is the integration of employee need with the career opportunity so in this case there is make a comparison between the employee's need and the career opportunities so it is necessary to align the need and aspirations of the employees with the career opportunities in order to ensure the right people will be available to meet the organization manpower requirement so that they can it's a main important part that the organization want the uh, best suitable persons uh, in their organization and meet their manpower requirements so they can uh, helpful to increase their uh, career opportunities under the organization and it is emphasized is placed on the training on or off job training and counseling coaching by the supervisor and plan rotations in the position verify the functions in the different locations so this is basically consider by the organization organize the some uh, type of the trainings like the on job training off job training and provide the counseling careers counseling and coaching by the supervisor so they can easily improve the efficiency among the employees so that they can meet the requirements manpower requirements under the organization at a suitable uh, jobs and to ensure that the organization meet the right persons for their job requirements and next is the regular monitoring under the regular monitoring to regular monitor the progress of the employees toward his her career development plans and see that support is being provided to develop these career plannings so in this the regular supervisor